it is almost the end of the year. It's my end of the year reading hopes. <laughs> And I'm filming in a strange part of the apartment where it's just kind of like in the middle of everything. But I thought like, ah. Oh. So if I keep going bright and dark, um, it's the end of the year. But also, I'm wearing the wet bandits. You catch my drift? If you do, we're probably friends. I have a rather ambitious stack of books that I'd like to read before the end of the year. I do have winter break coming up and I thought why not set an unattainable reading goal just to finish out the year. So I'm just gonna start sharing what I hope to read by the end of this year. The first book that I'm hoping to finish by the end of this year and definitely will is My Sweet Audrina which is the my favorite murder book choice and I am obsessed. I spent so long trying to find this book. It's like old and, you know, V.C. Andrews style creep fest. So far I really like this, but we're not at the point yet where like the thing has been unveiled. And I don't know what that thing is yet, but there's clearly a thing that's gonna happen. Audrina's like very much overprotected by her dad in like a clinically dysfunctional way. So, love that. Finish out the year strong. The other book that I am starting while reading this one is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. And I have been waiting so long to get this. And I finally got it from Book Depository, which what have I been doing all my life? Wasting my time not ordering from Book Depository because this is the cover that I've been trying to find this in and it is so beautiful and I can't wait to read this. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up because this one will definitely be finished. The next book I wanna read in December and for the end of the year is Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks and I couldn't not get this, I just had to. It's a signed version too so I was just like, too excited. He's like the happiest guy and just like his love for typewriters and everything like how are we not friends or something like I don't know this is the closest I'm gonna get so I just have to get into this one but this for sure will be read by the end of the year for sure. The next one is special and different because I borrowed it from my partner's sister and it is Throne of Glass. This is something that I would not have picked up on my own so I'm going to give it a shot, see if it's something that I've been missing out on because I see this online all the time. and. It's not like my typical read, so I am excited to give it a try, and then I'm gonna give it back to her when I go home. So this one will also most likely be finished by the end of the year. These next four, <laughs> um, they are, they are goals, so we'll see. The first of my unattainable goals is Girl in Snow and I've had this for a while and I wouldn't be so disappointed not reading this by the end of the year because I was just recently told that it's set in like February so I could like wait till then but it's one that I've really been looking forward to reading and has like that creepy winter-ish vibe that I'm looking for so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna bring it home and lug it around with me for a month so we'll see but it is on the goals list. Oh and I feel like such a fraud for these last three because they are all my book of the month choices and when I first started book of the month I was like I have to read it that month and then life got the best of me and I have not been doing that but I'll share them with you anyway. The first one I hope to read by the end of the year is After the Eclipse. This is a memoir and I tend to go through memoirs a little bit faster than other books. It just feels like really real and quick to me so 
I am hoping that this is another one of those kind of reads, but this also sounds like it's got a lot of feels in it, and I just finished the book Stay With Me, which you'll hear about in the wrap up, but that was a book of feels for sure, and I don't know how much more I can take in this month. <laughs> so, we'll see. Oh, this next one I've been waiting so long to read and I finally just like bought it through book of the month because I couldn't take it anymore I have to read it and it is dark matter and I don't even hate I mean the book of the month logo on it I just think it's such a cool cover and I'm glad that it's like hardcover I'm excited to read this one. I like can't imagine going through this month not reading this book because I finally put it out on my nightstand and that's like the good sign that like it's gonna get read. So I really hope I get to read this one. We'll see though. Just like, how many times am I gonna say we'll see? This is a video of we'll sees because we'll see. The final book I really hope to read by the end of the year is Little Fires Everywhere. And this is another one that I can't believe I've waited this long, but I don't know what has come up. Things have come up, life, uh, work, who knows? But I really wanna read this one by the end of the year. But uh, again, this stack of books is significant. This is one that I've heard so many good things about and I hope to get into, so. Uh, another chunky one to carry around. So, this is just my, it's a, my really attainable, um, realistic, and uh, I'm sure just a breeze to get through, hopes to read by the end of the year. I mean, it's not even, this is so manageable. This could all fit in a backpack, no problem. Yeah, let's just, Want to hang out? Let's go somewhere. This is absurd. I need to finish these two before I go home because I cannot even with all these books. Whew. Well, those are all the books I hope to read by the end of the year. I'd love to know in the comments below if you've read any of these or if you have any other books that you're trying to read by the end of the year. I've like really enjoyed watching these videos from everyone, so... I want to send out all the positive reading vibes to everyone just to finish out the year strong. I also just want to say thank you because I recently hit 100 subscribers and uh, I don't know how and I don't know how you get through these. I don't know what is happening but I am super grateful and I love doing this. I, I am really excited about it and appreciative of the time that you are willing to give me so thank you so much and this is not gonna stop in the new year so i'm gonna keep trucking on and i hope you will too thanks for watching bye